You know how much I love working with GitLab hands-on and developing prototypes and proofs of concept and really mapping the details of our capabilities to your company's needs and making sure that we deliver really excellent technology. But today, we're going to take a quick look at GitLab Duo because I've been learning as much as I can about it. It's super exciting. There's a lot happening. There's a lot to follow. And I want to make sure that you realize how GitLab Duo is mapped to your customer needs on a very high level. So let's talk about your goals, or let's think about your goals, since this is just a video. Um, you probably are thinking about productivity. You're probably thinking about tool chain simplicity and streamlining those workflows. You're probably thinking about security and governance and how you're going to make sure that you meet all the compliance requirements that your company needs to meet. But also you're thinking about AI, not just as the opportunity that it presents, but also potentially as the threat that it presents to your organization. And we are on that journey with you and are really going to help you become an AI-driven company the same way GitLab is becoming an AI-driven company. So what does that look like? Uh, GitLab, at GitLab, we really built our entire company uh, on this principle that there's this tool chain sprawl problem. And that is uh, uh, this number of point solutions that you use throughout your DevSecOps lifecycle, whether it's your security scanning or your source code control or your CI CD or your monitoring and operations tools or your planning tools. And there's a problem with that, really two problems. I mean, the biggest problem is that it, I mean, the obvious problem is that it 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 is expensive to be maintaining all these licenses and vendor relationships. But the bigger problem potentially is that workflows can become interrupted, integrations don't work quite right. There's a lot of overhead associated with copying data or moving data or correlating data between all these different point solutions. And it's nearly impossible to maintain any kind of unified view into what's going on to be able to optimize those workflows and to be able to apply security and governance controls across the entire collection of tools sprawling all over the place. AI makes that worse because you already have developers who are using AI and, and product managers and project managers and testers and users who are using AI, whether they're using chat GPT or Copilot or any other AI tool, the AI that's built into a lot of the enterprise products now. And but that AI is all in different places. Furthermore, that AI is causing those developers to build to write even more code that needs to be tested and reviewed and secured. And so AI can magnify the tool chain sprawl problem and GitLab can help solve that. So 78% uh, of organizations currently using AI are planning to in the next two years. This is the result of our DevSecOps survey, our global survey that we do every year. It's kind of a must have, you kind of have to address this now. And so how is GitLab different? The problem is that most of the focus with regard to AI and the software development life cycles to date has been on Copilot, which is a what we call a code suggestions tool. So it's a way of helping coders write code more quickly and uh, you know, built into the IDE. And we have that, uh, we have that capability and it's very powerful and super useful. I use it sometimes. And, but GitLab really thinks of it very differently. We think of ourselves as the entire platform that reduces that tool chain sprawl that helps you optimize and secure the entire life cycle. And so we build AI into every phase of that life cycle, whether it's the planning phase, when you're working with your issues and epics, whether it's your merge requests and your sort of overall developer workflow where we help summarize merge requests through to code reviews, security, and even operations. So the, the, the power of GitLab is really in the AI in every stage of the DevSecOps lifecycle. And that's pretty important because our study shows that only 21% of the entire time uh, 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 effort throughout your organization that's related to software delivery is actually on coding. So if you're only addressing coding as that part, you're really only kind of optimizing a small part of your workflow. So welcome, GitLab Duo. GitLab Duo is our 
wrapper around our entire AI family of products, but it's also an underlying architecture. And it's also a philosophy of how AI can be embedded into that entire life cycle. So we talked about how it touches every phase of the development life cycle. There are three other benefits to Duo over some of the other AI options that you might be presented with. Uh, the first of those is that we believe in transparency and privacy first. This is the number one question that comes up every time I mention GitLab's AI capabilities. Oh yeah, I can't use AI because I've been told I can't upload anything. I can't exfiltrate any knowledge from my company up to chat GPT. So I guess I can't use AI. And GitLab is building our AI capabilities from the ground up with transparency and privacy as core principles. So we don't take your code or your question or your documentation and use it to train our models. And we are also building capabilities where you can control your own models. And that's a really critical component of this. It's not just about us selling you our AI model. It's also about us helping you to embed AI in every phase of the life cycle, even when it's your own models or other models that you've purchased from other places. So transparency and privacy first, absolutely core component, the right AI model for each use case, the language model that's used to write your Python code or your Java code might be completely different from the one that's going to review and read all of your issues and help you plan the next phase of your, of your development. And so we make sure we've gone through a lot of models. There's a lot of change in this area because we're continuously looking at all of the different language models that are available on the market and selecting the ones that seem to work best in each different situation throughout the entire life cycle. And that's part of what you get with GitLab is our knowledge and experience with working with all the different models. Okay, unified data store. This is really important. If you're using GitLab for your entire DevSecOps lifecycle, then you have AI models that have access to context throughout that entire life cycle. So we're already seeing some of this in our code suggestions where the code suggestions can actually look at the entire project rather than just at the file that it's working on. But it's also a case of the tools that help you with planning, the tools that help you with operations are increasingly able to access the entire life cycle of that project or that group or that, or that portfolio of work. And so is able to really contextualize that input and suggestions. And that's going to, you're going to see more and more of that over the coming years as we go on this journey together with GitLab Duo. Okay. So we've talked about end to end, all these different, okay. End to end life cycle. We hear that a lot from GitLab, right? What does that actually mean? Well, in fact, there are capabilities built into GitLab already and some of them coming out each day that impact every different step along the life cycle of application development or software development within your organization. Some of these are obvious, some of them are a little less obvious. I don't have time to talk about all of them, but we're gonna talk about a few use cases that are, I think, relevant to certainly a lot of the companies that I've talked to and worked with over the past year or so. Uh, the first, and our, our guests that are exciting to me, just from what I've seen. So the first is around enhancing team collaboration. This is where uh, teams trying to work together often have a hard time. And, oh, yeah, I can type in that issue or I can have a meeting and it can be very long and slow and cumbersome, right? Uh, and in GitLab, certainly GitLab, using GitLab, we see that a lot in our issues and merge requests where the descriptions and the comments are just pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. And I scan up and down them trying to figure out, well, what, what's the actual summary? What's the status of this? I almost need to ask someone, can you interpret this for me? Well, now you can ask Duo, of course, because we have functionality like the ability to summarize the discussions in an issue. I used this once just a couple of weeks ago for an issue that was boggling my mind. I was like, is this thing done? Is it is it in progress? Have they solved the problem? I don't know from reading the discussion, but I asked Duo Chat and it helped me and it said, oh yeah, here's what's happening with this issue in just a few sentences. And so uh, that's an example of collaboration and how it can really enhance collaboration by being your, your help in terms of understanding all the information that people are generating throughout a project. Uh, another aspect or use case, I guess, that is exciting to me is around troubleshooting of CI/CD 
Uh, as you know, I'm a CICD enthusiast and evangelist to a certain extent. I think the GitLab CICD platform is amazing. But one of the big challenges that you have it, with CICD is around understanding why something failed. And we, you know, we dump all these wonderful job logs out to you and you're scanning through this whole log of stuff and something failed and what really went wrong here. And so now we have root cause analysis where AI can help with that and can actually read through that log and give you some idea of what went wrong. Um, and this to me is really exciting because it's around the, the challenges with developing software are always in more in the troubleshooting than in the authoring of code, more in the solving the problem, fixing the bug, what went wrong here. And root cause analysis is one of those ways of taking a process that could take hours and shortening it to maybe a few minutes. Oh, that's the problem. Great, I can fix that. And so that can really streamline you get your get your products to market faster. That can really ensure that you're you have that higher level of quality that you're looking for. This particular job is a code coverage job, and so all that more important that you understand why it failed, and can also help you make sure that you're ensuring that security. And so, root cause analysis, one of my favorite capabilities. There are literally dozens of AI capabilities built into GitLab and being built into GitLab today across all the different stages. These are just a few of the ones that excite me the most. Something else that excites me is intuitive machines. So they're going to the moon. They've, they're building everything that you need to go to the moon. And I just this is just so exciting. They've chosen to adopt GitLab. But one of the reasons they've chosen to adopt GitLab and intuitive machines is because of their belief in the GitLab Duo vision and in the capabilities that are already there. And we've heard this time and time again from customers that we work with very closely around, um, around how, how they love that vision of the end-to-end -end integration of AI and the transparency and privacy that we build in and the fact that it's working across an entire unified data model rather than these point solutions. Loving this. I mean, who doesn't get excited about going to the moon, right? Okay. But you want to talk about analysts? Great. We got the Gardner Magic Quadrant. We're up there. This is just for code suggestions. This is just that AI assistant part. So everything I've told you is like, oh, yeah. And by the way, we're up there with GitHub and Google and Amazon in the top quadrant for our code suggestions alone. And so, uh, you know, don't discount that. That's actually really important. It just so happens that our vision is much, much bigger than that. And the, the, the capabilities that we deliver today are much bigger than that. Okay, the big kahuna of this thing is GitLab workflow. GitLab, GitLab Duo workflow. Let me get the nomenclature right. This is where we're really going to not only have, okay, it's great that we're going to describe an issue or help you with root cause analysis or explain a vulnerability or suggest code, but GitLab Duo workflow is about helping developers and everyone involved in the software development life cycle really plan out their work and know what to do next and be always be working on the highest value activities. And so this is where we stitch that together into an AI agent that's really helping you across the, the entire platform. And one of my colleagues recently experimented with GitLab Duo workflow just in, a, in an offline way in terms of helping with migration from Jenkins to GitLab CI CD, and they found it incredibly valuable to help with that process. So I am super excited about this kind of version of the capability. Now, what does it cost? Uh, the, 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 the frontline account executives can talk more about the pricing and more about the actual capabilities that are within the different tiers. There is GitLab Duo Premium and GitLab Duo Enterprise, and they are slightly different. And Enterprise is where you get all the bells and whistles. This is really what you want. And by the way, this price is actually fairly low when you consider the actual list price of the language models that are being used and all of the power that we bring by integrating that into the entire DevSecOps lifecycle. So I think this is um, actually quite reasonable when you consider how this is maybe doubling, tripling the value of your ultimate subscription. I don't know. Okay. One of the things I like to talk about with the advantages of GitLab Duo again, but one of the things that I think is really important to recognize here is the power of the platform centric approach. We like to talk about GitLab as the AI powered DevSecOps platform. And there are a couple of different ways of parsing that. You could think of GitLab as the AI powered platform for DevSecOps. 
And sure enough, we are AI powered and we have all these capabilities that we've talked about throughout this conversation. We are also a platform for AI powered DevSecOps. And as your organization starts to explore ways of integrating AI into your own products, into your other enterprise applications, GitLab is there to help you do that with capabilities like our model ops capability, like the fact that all of GitLab Duo is powered by an AI gateway, which is actually a microservice underlying GitLab that can be customized with your own models and your own capabilities as GitLab Duo evolves. So we evolve in partnership with you around GitLab Duo. And that's an important thing to understand is, uh, you know, this is far more than just what model is actually providing that chat or that suggestion today and goes into how you really think about your entire software development life cycle. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I am looking forward to the ongoing conversation.